Welcome back, Griddle Cook Eat More. Today is a crazy one. Another collaboration with Annie from Annie's Smoking Pot. Me and Annie just did a collaboration not too long ago. Uh, what did we do? We did a air fryer stir fry. Well, we're back at it again with something a little more off the wall this time. Not sure how it's going to be, but we're going to find out. But here's what, what we're doing. We got a collaboration. We got some other people joining in, I believe. We're doing a peanut butter and jelly smash burger or burger, you know, basically. However you want to prepare it. I'm doing mine a little different today, but uh, let's check out what we're going to do here. So the first thing we got to do is make a bun, but we're not using any ordinary bun. We're going to make our own bun, but we're only going to make one bun because we're going to do an open face sandwich. So here's the idea. We're making a funnel cake. Let's get it going. Hopefully this works out all right. May have to cut it down a little bit because it's a, become quite sizable here. But it's all right, this will work out. Perfect. All right, looking good right there. Looking good. Let's get that over here. So now we got our bottom for our open face PBJ smash burger creation. Right, so we got our base made, got our little funnel cake uh, bottom bun for my open face creation. Next up, we're gonna need some smash burgers. So let's get them going. All right, we're gonna do a triple smash here. So we got, got our pucks there, super windy out. So I got uh, three pucks here, roughly probably two and a half to three ounces. Now, I don't need to normally use parchment paper, so I warm up my smasher on the grill a little bit. So let's get smashing. And away. A little salt, pepper, garlic, maybe some MSG in there, who knows. Oh, it's getting flipped. Got one. Two, kind of jacked up there. This is my best one right here, for sure. Three, there we go. But the cheese will put that, hold that together. So let's get some cheese down. All right, we're gonna let that cheese finish getting melted up there and then uh, it's gonna be time to assemble here. All right, here we go. Let's get it assembled. Let's get the funnel cake down. Got this dang wind here. My burgers. Next step, since we got the funnel cake in there, let's hit up some powdered sugar on it. And finally, we need to uh, get our peanut butter and jelly on it. There we go. Look at that. I'm gonna have to actually get some silverware to eat this thing. Let me get a few picks of it, grab some silverware, we'll be right back. All right, Annie, here we go. Let's give this thing a try. Very interesting. So let's cut us a little section off there. Try. There we go. All right, here we go, Annie. Cheers. Very interesting. Not bad at all. 
Let me get another bite. I'm gonna get a little more of that smash burger in this bite. There we go. Wow. It actually works. And it was funny, it's just, uh, I don't know, either this morning or yesterday, someone posted on one of the Blackstone groups, try PBJ and burger. He said they're delicious, just randomly. And then here I am shooting this video today. I had this, we came up with this idea a while back to do this collaboration. So, it's pretty damn good, actually. Had a couple different ideas. I decided to go with the funnel cake, make it a little more fun for the, the base and do an open face. So, that is it for this video. But be sure to check out Annie's Smoking Pot. She'll also get links to everybody else that joined in. I'm not sure who else is uh, joining this crazy one. It's probably a select few. A lot of people uh, may have thought this was a little too crazy to do. But there is some other people doing it. So I can't wait to see what everybody else does. Comes up with this uh, wild concoction. But not bad. It is lunchtime. I'm hungry. So I'm out.